In this simulation, we are going to explore ionic bonding and the formation of ionic compounds. You've probably heard the saying, opposites attract. Well, this is certainly true of ions. The positive and the negative ions are attracted to each other by the strong force due to their opposite electrical charges. We call this attraction between oppositely charged ions ionic bonding. You can see sodium atom which has 11 protons and 11 electrons. Its electron configuration is 2, 8, 1 with one electron in its outermost shell. As for chloride, it has 17 protons and 17 electrons with its electron configuration 2, 8, 7 so it has 7 electrons in its outermost shell. Sodium and chlorine bond in order to get stable, full outer shells. The sodium atom gives an electron to the chlorine atom. This transfer of electrons forms sodium ion and chloride ion. The sodium is positively charged because it has lost an electron, and the chlorine has gained an electron and it's negatively charged. Notice that both ions have full outer shell. The opposite charges attract and the ions form sodium chloride. The electrostatic attraction between the oppositely charged ions is an ionic bond. Another example is the ionic bond formation in magnesium chloride. Magnesium bonds with two chlorine atoms to form magnesium chloride. The magnesium atom gives an electron to each of the chlorine atoms because magnesium needs to lose two electrons to complete its outer shell. However, each chlorine atom needs to gain one electron to complete its outer shell. This is the transfer of electron and therefore the formation of ions, two chloride ions and one magnesium ion. Magnesium ions have a positive charge and chloride ions have negative charge. The atoms now have become ions and the magnesium is positively charged. It has two plus charge because it has lost two electrons. Each chlorine has gained an electron and it's negatively charged. The opposing charges attract and the ions form magnesium chloride. Millions of ions bond together to form a giant ionic structure. So it's not only those three ions. When ions are formed, they do not produce individual molecules. Sodium chloride, NaCl, is not made up of pairs of Na plus and Cl minus ions. Instead, the ions in an ionic compound form giant three-dimensional networks called lattices. These are the chloride and sodium ions, as you can see, and they join this giant lattice of sodium chloride. This is the ionic structure of sodium chloride. Remember, ionic bonding involves transfer of electrons from one atom to another.